Well, it's our 10th anniversary show this year, so we've gone bigger and better, and there's lots of brand new things here. Uh, the water fountain show that you can see behind me, uh, this is the biggest wa temporary water fountain show that the UK has ever seen. As you know, Kew is a World UNESCO heritage site. We've got, you know, over 12,000 trees here in our collection. So ordinarily, it's an absolutely stunningly beautiful place to be. Add Christmas lights on top of that. Um, and at night time, what we manage to do is when we light up these trees, we just show people the beauty of nature in just a, a new and exciting way. <laughs> As a creative producer, I kind of think of them as rooms in an art gallery and we create different types of looks and feels across different parts of the landscape. So some of them are more intimate, some of them are more open, some of them use the water and, you know, let's face it, there's nowhere else in the world that could have the Palm House as the backdrop to this most wonderful finale show. Well, my um, favourite installation this year is by Pattaya. Um, it's called Florison. It's down um, on one of our vistas and it's a floating sea of poppies. It's as if the poppies have just floated through the breeze and landed in the trees. Um, it's quite stunning and the match with the music is uh, absolutely beautiful.
So yeah, we, we appreciate at the end of November, it seems quite early, but we think this is the, the beginning of Christmas. Uh, we're a month away really from when the festivities really begin. And just we've, we want to, as many people to be able to come and see this as possible. So it gives us the opportunity to spread that audience out, ensure it doesn't become too busy. Um, and it is now a tradition for so many people when they come to Christmas at Kew. It really does announce the beginning of Christmas. Hello everyone, welcome to Q. Come on down, it's wonderful fun here. Hope you've been good this year. I'll see you on Christmas Eve. Bye bye.